Andy Roddick, uh, straight set victor. Andy, let's start with you, sir. You had 20 aces today, and you're over 140 there at your peak speed. What was working so hard with you? The big smile when you say that to you. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't hit 140 for about three years, so that was nice. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, the, the wind is really tough out here today, as you guys can probably feel. It's blowing, blowing down wind pretty, uh, pretty significantly, so. Uh, you had to you know, switch it up a little bit and kind of play a little bit higher, and a little, it, you know, it didn't look pretty, but you know, we were we were battling out here. Thirteenth consecutive appearance here. It's obviously a lot of memories as we talked about before you came out of the match. What is special about this place to you? I think it's fourteen. Don't don't sell my oldest short, but um, I, I have so many great memories from this place. Uh, even even before this beautiful stadium was born. Uh, my parents used to bring me here for my birthdays when I was eight and nine years old, so I have a lot of memories here, and it's always a pleasure to, to play here. We've got a young American in, in Ryan making his Grand Slam debut. What do you remember most about when you made your debut? Well, it certainly wasn't on Arthur Ashe Stadium, I'll promise you that. Uh, you know, I feel like uh, I always play the, the young American guys here in the, in the first couple of rounds, the way it normally goes. Uh, but he did a great job. You know, he didn't get a wild card. He did it the hard way. You know, he got through qualies, so that's uh, that's a good effort by him. And, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, we'll be seeing a lot more. No one has a better record. No one has won more matches than you have right here at night on Arthur Ashe. If it's up to you, do you prefer the night versus the day? Oh man, it's tough because uh, it's like trying to choose your favorite brother. Um, <laughs> You know, the, the day, when you play at night, sometimes you don't go to sleep till 4 or 5 in the morning, so the recovery is a little tough, but, you know, there's nothing like a night session in New York also as far as the energy, so I'll, I'll choose the positive in either scenario. <laughs> and quickly, a couple of days away from your 30th birthday, you'll be turning 30 years old. <laughs> they seem like an obvious answer, but, but I ask you, what do you want for your birthday? Well, I just, I just want to be around until next week. That's all I want for my birthday. Then, then we'll renegotiate. <laughs> and I'm certainly on through the second round. Thanks very much, Andy. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, it is a U.S. Open tradition. Andy Roddick now autographing some official U.S. Open tennis balls to send you home from this year's Open with a souvenir. So what are you saying, New York? You want one of these tennis Ladies and gentlemen, today's next first round match will begin in just a few minutes with Bethany Maddox-Sands and Venus Williams.